All right, so after that unsuccessful copperhead, I did eventually find some. I did the entire hike. My dog got scared because a tree fell and it made loud sound. I got bit, but I did get a northern water snake. <laughs> As you guys know, these are one of the most common snakes to find around here. They are Nerodia, or a water snake. And they have this gorgeous chestnut belly pattern, which I just love. And this one's a pretty big size. Not the biggest I found, but definitely really thick. So, she is like longer than my arm. So, pretty big. But, yeah, he was literally right on the bridge where you actually enter into the main trail. Because there are no real trails before it. But just chilling there. Um, does assume to be a boy because the cloaca, you can see where that starts because it's open, because he was musking. It's, it extends pretty far afterwards, which is his tail. You'll see that male snakes will have a longer tail than females because they do have to hold their hemipenes or double penises, which all squadmata snakes and lizards have. He did musk a little on his own head and on my arm a bit and my leg. But that's what happens when you have water snakes. You also can see how he has these ridged scales, these keeled scales which gives him a little bit better in the water. But yeah, so this guy is normally chilling out with a copperhead actually at the start of this trail. But today, they were on the separate sides of the bridge. But yeah. Kids are looking at fish in the water. But yeah, gorgeous little snake. So, get a few pictures and then let this guy go. Maybe the copperhead will be bad. No, you're good. As you can see, he's calmed down quite a bit from when I first caught him. Alrighty, so I'm gonna let this guy go right back where I found him. Go on. And he should just coil back up somewhere else. Alright, so I just found that water snake, so thinking about it, this guy's probably terrified that I am a water snake. But this is a juvenile five-line skink. He, or they, are quite young, and they haven't lost their tail. So this one's been doing a pretty good life. Because when they lose their tail, it doesn't regrow back to be blue. But, gorgeous little skink. The only skink species in New Jersey. And, no, there, actually there are two skink species in New Jersey. We have the five-lined and the ground skink. But yeah, I probably shouldn't have left him back up on there because he wasn't found there. He was found on that board, but I thought he wasn't going to move. But he's away. Alright, see you little guy.